Keep it up here. They don't play it no more, but I remember a time, 1984, or maybe 85, he sang the Salvation Army band played, and the children drank lemonade, and the morning lasted all. came up better on a stolen guitar and now we were blessed by spiders from Mars bitters came up better on a stolen guitar and now we were blessed by spiders from Mars they say they say And he never would have waved goodbye You could see it written through his eyes As the train rolled out of sight of the station And through an open window came Like Sinatra in a younger day Pushing the clouds away But the bitters came out better on a stolen guitar Now we were blessed by spiders from Mars The bitters came out better on a stolen guitar And now we were blessed by spiders from Mars They say They say They say All right, so then the other woman in my life, um, how do I describe Jennifer? Jennifer was probably the only real relationship I ever had. I mean, I guess I know I, I had a real relationship in high school with Karen. Oh, yeah. I mean, she was my first love. I, I, I had a traditional high school 80s relationship, you know, going to movies and dinner and making out in the car and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. But um, but Jennifer was my first and probably really only just dated it. We, we dated for over three years and uh, you know we, we, we said I love you we planned on getting married we, that whole talk um, you know we, we were a college couple we were both going to college or she went to college and I I took classes and dropped in and out of college over the years but um you know, she was a, uh, she went to the private school that was close to my public school and she was friends with my older brother when I, when I moved out to Moorhead. I mean, she wasn't even friends with him, but you know, I met, I met him, her through, my brother went to Concordia and we hooked up and then stayed together for three years. Uh, she wasn't a very good girlfriend. <laughs> what? Why not? Well, you know, she cheated on me and she was... I, I got to, I mean, she was a great girlfriend in that I learned everything about what I don't want or didn't want in life. <laughs> you know, we, we were a classic, uh, you know, couple. But she was a... Uh, I don't know. At the time, 
I thought of her as, I mean, I was in love, but the dynamic was that she was always a little too good for me. No, really? Yeah. She was a rich girl, I was poor. Now that I'm old, it's like, no, she was a college girl who was living on her parents' money, and I was a working class guy paying my own rent, but I always felt kind of outclassed, like, Recording, should I say something? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, hey, boujou. And welcome back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to Boujou. Boujou, not, not a Boujou. A podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. My name is Nana Boujou. This is Natasha. Boujou. <laughs> and we want to encourage you to watch our live stream show, our live stream podcast, <laughs> on Ojibwe language and culture. Yeah. Called Buju Nana Buju. This is just a commercial. I remember one day You and me in a pouring rain Water ran down my chin So you pulled me close and you drank it in And I remember your ways And you and me in a sad embrace And I remember your bleeds where you pulled me close and you kissed my face Will I, will I ever see you again? No, I, I don't think I'll ever see you again I remember one night And the casual fight by candlelight As the room grew dim You lied to me when you talked about him But I remember your ways You and me in a sad embrace And I remember a place where you pulled me close and you kissed my face Will I, will I ever see you again? No, I, I don't think I'll ever see you again Will I, la la, did I ever see you again? No, I think I'll ever see you again Way back when, but I don't know how You sacrificed my sacred cow That was then this is now If life's a stage Then take a bow If life's a stage Then take a bow 